Well, how do you keep kids from getting into trouble? One guy says letting them hit each other. <laughs> I, you know, there's something to be said for it here. A boxing trainer, and this man teaches young people much more than just how to throw a punch. Roby is here with the story of a Haverhill downtown boxing club. Roby? Bree, one thing I learned quickly about Ray Hebert is he's passionate about two things, boxing and kids. The sweet science taught him a lot about discipline and toughness. Now he's sharing that with at-risk youth, but he's struggling to keep his dream alive. So we take you to Haverhill, Massachusetts, in this week's Roby on the Road. The first rule of Haverhill Downtown Boxing Club? Work hard. You do talk about the boxing club. It's a good place to have fun and fight. With knuckles taped up, 11-year-old Andrew tries to pound away at the problems that plague him. Each blow is a release. This is his refuge, his safe spot. What would you be doing if you weren't here? Would you be getting in trouble? Oh, uh, yeah. I would be getting in trouble in, in the streets, hanging out with bad people. Breathe. You're not breathing. It's Ray Hebert and his staff who are breathing life into these youngsters. There you go. One, two, three, four. Ray used to mix it up himself, had a pretty mean right. But this is more than just about throwing or taking a punch. We're trying to make them gentlemen is what we're trying to do. We're trying to teach them that there's rules in life. Follow them. One of the rules of this place is you have to hit the books before you hit the bags. Since David Lynch started bringing his son Joshua here, he's seen more than just his right jab improve. To watch your child's confidence build up, stand up straighter, schoolwork, getting better. He has good grades anyways, but they just got, they just improved even better. This is the uh, weight room, Dave. Uh, we're still doing some work on it. It needs a lot more work. The weights were donated, but are old and rusty. The bench held together by duct tape. He only charges kids 20 bucks a month. For those who can't afford it, he picks up the tab. I've been coming out of my pocket from day one here to help certain kids out. And not just kids. This lady isn't worried about breaking a nail. So Ray told me to call you the Puerto Rican assassin, but I'm gonna call you ma'am. Her real name is Carmen. Puerto Rican assassin is her fighting name. Not only is this place her salvation, this single mom brings her eight-year-old son here too. His name is Hoseon, but in the ring, he's nugget. And I was in a very abusive relationship, so I come here to let that, all that out, and Ray has been, that's like my dad. His wife is like a mother to me. This is my family, my second home. That rings true for these kids, too. Keep working time. Good job. Love it. What a vibe you get from that yeah. place. Yeah. And they can't swear either. Ooh. If you swear, he kicks you out for a couple of days. That's not something you come you back, think back of and you gotta apologize. Yeah. Look, look, they're really struggling though. They have a GoFundMe page, and later on on our website, uh, cbsboston.com, we'll post that if anybody wants to try to help them out. Wait, room it's needs really a worthy work. cause. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, amazing. Great story, Ruby.